Demi, congratulations. Um, had to work hard for that one, but we got the win. How are you feeling? I'm very proud of myself in the way I kept my cool on the stage. And now I'm allowed to sit here once again after a while. I haven't really been feeling what it means to be a winner. Uh, it's been from Hildesheim European Tour till now um, a roller coaster on the dead right. So, guys, this for me at the minute, just let me sink it in. Um, oh, I miss this. I have. Yeah, you've been chasing that winning feeling for a little mm. while now and to do it with <coughs> such a performance against somebody else playing very it, yeah. well must be, yeah. must be pleasing yeah. um, I'm not going to be arrogant but I think me and Luke played a, an extraordinary game and I think it's going to be very tough to top this game uh, for the next competitors in this tournament all of them are class but with a double start we all know that this can be a dodgy tournament uh, I think me and Luke played an extraordinary really good game uh, all the credits to Luke put us as well. Unfortunately, when it comes to darts, there's always got to be one loser. And unfortunately, today he wasn't being allowed to be a winner. But he definitely would be a winner if he would have played anybody else. Because wow, what a game he played. Um, that double start for them both of us really was good. I think between us two, we maybe each once missed three darts on the double. And besides that, we always straight away was off. So yeah, guys, um, what a game. And I'm really help, really happy, and I can only say on to the next one now. <sighs> wow. Where is the belief in your game at the moment? There is none. There's none belief. There is just, I'm going to play a game of darts at the minute. Uh, like I said, it has been, since Hilda Hampton now, so rough on me, so weird on me. But I never give up. I don't come up with excuses. I'm one of them that just say, you know what, even if there is excuses, I can give you reasons why it could be. But I don't want anybody else to know about it because I'm a professional. And in professionalism, it's all about when you're up there, you want to give 100%. And it means so much more to myself when I am not 100%, but yet I'm winning. So I'll take all the negatives. I'll take all of the criticism. That's fine, guys. If you want to give me criticism, give it. I, I don't really mind. Everybody's got their freedom of speech. So I'm, I'm relaxed about it. I can only say that I've got a great team behind me backstage that nobody really know about it much. And they helped me to be the player that I am today. And oh, yeah, man, into the next round in a major. And that's so, so important to myself. I know how much you've worked on that mental side of the game, but going up there when you've not got that confidence in you, how difficult is that? As soon as I hit that winning double for me, it was like, wow, dude, this is indescribable uh, that one three two finish as well indescribable so i think i had a um, lock on my sight in that last set because the first lick on its own uh he started off strong i played a terrific second set really really strong second set and then i was like all right demi new set you've got to get off first three darts you miss <laughs> oh yes this is what you want demi you make yourself happy and then um luke once again his finishing, uh, his starting double was on point, so he was straight away off, and I wasn't. And then he misses, and then I finished that one three two on that ball, and for me that was like, oh, wow, incredible. But then the next leg as well, I think he had a shot to make it one one, even even more than one dot. I don't know. It feels or in my mind somewhere I remember that he had a chance to make it one zero, and I was thinking like, oh, Timmy, why did you make him like give him that chance? Like, why didn't you just like keep pushing the way you're playing? You're like fighting hard. You're pushing him. You're putting him under pressure. You want to continue that. So for me, guys, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. Thank you. Dimitri, you said that you've got your reasons for why the form's not been there since Hilda Sam that you don't want to go into, and I respect that. But do Thank you, you know what you need to do to get back to the top of your game? Let's just say that behind the scenes, I am on it. And today, it's a relief. It's not me telling, oh, guys, watch out for me. No, no, no. It's me just saying, this is a relief. I am so happy that I played this kind of standard of a game, especially after going 1-0 down after the first set, where I was also playing a good average, good game, but then I missed six starts to go 2-2. And, you know, if you make 2-2, you're always going to give yourself every chance. Of course, it's, it could happen, but then you're standing there thinking like, oh, you're doing well, you're playing well, you're putting them under pressure, you're giving yourself chances, why don't you take them, you know? So when it comes to playing darts, we think. In that mental part, whoever doesn't have a brain, please be a professional dart player. 
and I would not like you on the scene because you would be so amazing, you would be so good. Um, but when it comes to darts, I, I love it. This thrill is incredible, this feeling is incredible, but it's so hard, it's difficult to be a professional dart player on that stage or any other tournament because when you're not playing well, your opponent will take advantage and that's the problem. You will always have a winner and someone who hasn't win. I don't want to call them losers because they're professionals. It is so hard to be a professional. They're not losers, they're winners. In so many ways, they're winners. But on the professional scene, yeah, there's always got to be one that prevails. And today, thank you so much, it's me. And you mentioned that game with Luke Woodhouse. I think he's had the second highest losing average in the 26 year history of this tournament. Does having a game like that in the first round set you up for the rest of the tournament? This is just today. This is just today. I'm not a machine. Um, this feels amazing, don't get me wrong, this feels amazing, but I'm not a machine. So the next game, I need to be on top of it again, very simple, if I want to be a, a major champion. And for me, this is one of the hardest tournaments ever. So the way I've started this tournament, the way I played on them doubles, God, I am proud of myself. Very simple. Cheers, Major. Thank you. Thank you for your time. How do you keep yourself humble in scenarios like that? Obviously, you've, you've been on stage before. You, you, we talk about in a, in a rough uh, stage of form, mm. but you, you've already won a major this year. Like you can't, you can't be playing that bad at certain times. How, especially when you've come off a game where you've one of the performances of the of the tournament so far. Could be. Yeah. How how do you stay humble and going into the next? Because arrogance isn't in my nature. I am one of them that thinks about everything, reflects about everything. I've got respect for everybody. Um, I know how it feels to be on the other side. I know how, f how it feels to be a dar player who is being a professional, who they call you're living the dream, but you're getting knockouts every single tournament again. How do you stand up from that? So I am so happy once again that I've got a team behind me that are with me. So tomorrow morning, I'll promise you now, tomorrow morning I'll have another chat with my sports psychologist. He's pushing me into different directions that I need and I don't think about it myself even though I've got a lot of experience you need to stay open for people who know what it means to be under a consistent pressure under dreams that you want to achieve but on the other side you don't want to fail while you are trying to achieve them and it's so difficult to keep that mind straight if you're winning <laughs> guys this is your second nature and this is normal cameras everywhere asking questions to you you're answering them that that's no problem but if you're not always a winner if you're now and then getting some knockouts it means that you need to find a way to come back to battle back to fight back and today i can only say i'm proud guys but you need to know how you can get yourself from a low view or a low level up to a level that you can at least play a basic or give yourself that extra push but forget about your past. And that's when you need the people on the backside, on, 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 how do you call it, backstage, to get you there. And I am very, very grateful for all of these people. And I'm also very grateful for everybody else who's gotta play me, and when I play them, I give respect, I want respect, because at the end of the day, this is really tough, and we're only here to maintain a future for myself and for my family. And that's very important. We're not just star players. There's a whole lot more between us than just throwing a dart on that stage. Thank you.